geometry problem. We're not going to get anywhere here without a picture. All right, so we'll start off with a rectangle. Get a rectangle. Long side is twice as long as the short side. There we go. Good enough. Got A, B, that's the long side. Length is 20, then C, D, and our short side has length 10. All right, now we got a point E that's on C, D down here somewhere, such that angle C, B, E is 15 degrees. So it's 15 right up there. It tells me this down here is 75. And this is a right angle. All right, and we're looking for A, E. Oh, this is at least a right triangle. Got a right triangle over here, so if I can figure out what ED is, we can break out Pythagorean theorem and we can find AE, but I don't know anything about this stuff over here. I do at least know this 15 degrees, this 75 degrees, and that this side has length 10. So if I can figure this out, I'm going to go ahead and put an X there. If I can figure this out from the information I have about this triangle over here, well, then I can just subtract it from 20. I get this Pythagorean theorem, and then we're all finished. But over here at these 15 and 75 degree angles, I don't like 15 and 75 degree angles, don't really know what that means. It's a right triangle, I like that. Now I could break out some trig, but this is the AMC 10, and breaking out the trig on the AMC 10, that wouldn't be very sporting. Oh, that's just my excuse for being too old to remember the trig functions of 15 degree angles, or uh, being too lazy to break out all the trig identities to figure out what those functions equal. And uh, if you don't know trig, you can just forget all that mumbo jumbo I just said, because we're going to find a better way to do the problem anyway. Here we go. We're going to use a little magic. Don't like 15 degree angles. Don't like 75 degree angles. Do like right triangles, though. I like right triangles that have 30 degree angles and 60 degree angles, because I can handle those. I also like isosceles triangles, because then two of the sides are the same, and that's nice, too. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this confusing triangle that we really don't know how to handle. We're going to break it into two smaller triangles that we do know how to handle. We like 30, 60, 90 triangles. We like isosceles triangles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a line right in here and break out this isosceles triangle. It's 15 degrees. That's an isosceles triangle. And then this will be 60. And this will be 30 here. So I broke the 75 degree angle into a 15 degree angle to make an isosceles triangle and a 60 degree angle to make this nice 30, 60, 90 triangle right here. This we can work with because I've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle right there. That means, well, the x is opposite to 30 degrees. That means opposite to 60 degrees, we've got x root 3. And then the hypotenuse is double the side that's opposite to 30 degrees. That means our hypotenuse is 2x. And here comes our isosceles triangle. This side equals this side. That means this up here is 2x. And now I've got bc in terms of x. It's 2x plus x root 3. And we know that equals 10. So now we've got x. Now we have a little algebra. Start off with 2x plus x root 3 equals 10. Now we're just going to factor out the x. This is x times the sum 2 plus the square root of 3. We'll just divide by that. It's 10 divided by 2 plus the square root of 3. And we can clean up this mess by multiplying top and bottom by 2 minus root 3. Now we're multiplying out the bottom here. Well, 2 times 2, that's 4. 2 times a minus root 3, that's minus 2 root 3, plus 2 root 3. They go away. That's nice. That was the plan all along. And then we have plus root 3 times minus root 3. That's a minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. That's nice. Then we multiply out the top. We get 2 times 10 is 20, minus 10 root 3. And that is our value of x. Now, x plus this is 20. So if x is 20 minus 10 root 3, that means this has to be 10 root 3, because 10 root 3 plus that mess is 20. So now we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, another one. This is 30, this is 60, since this leg is root 3 times that leg. So we know that the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. The hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is 20, and this triangle is isosceles all along. And we're done.